Write a C program to merge elements of two arrays to third array in alternative manner. For example, if you have two array variables A and B, we need to merge all the elements of A and B into third array variable C in alternative positions. For example, take a look at this, this image. First we point to C of 0, the index is C of 0, and then we transfer all the elements of A of 5 to the even position of array element C, that is 0 plus 2 is 2, 2 plus 2 is 4, 4 plus 2 is 6, and so on. Similarly, we take array variable B, we start inserting the elements of B of 5 in odd positions of array variable C. So 2 plus, we increment the index by 2 in both the cases. So 1 plus 2 is 3, 3 plus 2 is 5, 5 plus 2 is 7, 7 plus 2 is 9. So we take this same logic and start writing our C program. So let's take three array variables a, b and c and i for for loop and another variable index for keeping track of index of the resultant array variable c. Now let's manage the size of these arrays using macros. So I should define n. So I'll take um, different sizes for these array variables a and b. In that case, we need to define two macros n1 and n2. And then the third macro, I'll call it m. So this resultant array should be, its size should be addition of sizes of a as well as the size of array variable b, right? Because it needs to accommodate all the elements of a and b. So this is an assignment for you, okay? Convert the program I'm going to write now for different sizes of array variable a and b. For now, I'll take same size for both the arrays a and b. So now let me ask the user to enter percentage d elements for array a. So percentage d, that value is present inside macro n. Now you already know that to accept values from the user, we need to write for loop. So start by initializing it to zero and iterate this for loop until i is less than n and for each iteration, increment the value of i by one. So that's how we store values, five integer values entered by the user inside e of n. Now let me do the same for array variable b. The for loop is same because we have same size for both the arrays okay so now let me output a message onto the console window that we are copying these elements that is copying elements of array a elements of array a and b to c in alternative manner hope user can understand this message. Now start by writing for loop now. This is the main logic to copying elements of array a, b to c. So let's start by copying elements of a in even positions starting from index 0. So now c of, I'll write index is equal to a of i. So i varies from 0 to n minus 1. In this case, n is 5. So i varies from 0 to 4, right? To fetch all the individual elements of array a. And then we start storing it inside c of index plus plus. So let's initialize index to 0. What happens is, so c of 0, c of 1, c of 2, c of 3, c of 4 will have whatever is present inside a of 0, a of 1, a of 2, a of 3, and a of 4. That's what. That's not what we want. We want to store the elements of a in even positions starting from 0, right? In even positions only starting from 0. So let me initialize index to 0 to start with. Now let me take curly braces here because we will have more than one statement inside this for loop. So let me cut and paste this. Let me remove this plus plus because we are not 
in need of incrementing the value by 1. We need to increment the index value by 2 actually. So 0 plus 2 is 2, 2 plus 2 is 4, 4 plus 2 is 6, 6 plus 2 is 8. So we get it, right? That's what we need. We need to store the individual elements in even positions of array variable C starting from the index 0. Hope we got it. Now let me copy and paste this. Similar logic to copy the elements of B to C. So we need to start the index from 1. That's it I guess. 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 plus 2 is 5. 5 plus 2 is 7. 7 plus 2 is 9. So this accomplishes our task. So we merged the elements of A and B into the third array C in alternative positions. Okay, So we accomplished the task. Let me output the result onto the console window now. So array elements of C is C R because there are multiple elements. Just the grammar, don't worry, it's not syntax. So for loop, little change here. Index starts from 0, so i less than m, not n, okay? So i plus plus. Now just print the elements of the array C of i. That's it, I guess. That's it. What is m here? m should be n plus n or n into 2 n plus n works out okay so let me give some inputs i'll give one odd numbers 0 2 five. now the odd numbers 1 3 5 7 and 9 so it should return 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. Perfect. It has inserted the values in alternate positions. Perfect, right? So let's come down here and change this to something else. Index variable name to k. I need some shorter variable name here. So let me change this to k everywhere. I'll show you why. So let's compile and run this program once again. I'll give 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 0. So 1, 6, 2, 7, 3, 8, 4, 9, 5, 0. Okay, perfect. So now, instead of initializing the variable k here, I could do that inside for loop itself, right? that's possible now I could even remove this and do k is equal to k plus 2 here and that works perfectly so let us remove this here so again we have only one line of code inside this for loop similarly we will do the same for second for loop so remove this to we have just changed the initial value of k here for first for loop initial value that is index position is 0 for second for loop index position is 1 that's it k value is 1 that's it that's the only change here so i'll give 0 2 4 6 8 1 3 5 7 9 7 and 9 so it should give 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 perfect perfect okay now we also know that k is equal to k plus 2 can be written as k is equal to k plus is equal to 2 that's the same it's called assignment operator okay that works same so i'll enter 1 3 5 7 9 2 4 6 8 and 0 so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 0. That's working properly. So this is the main logic to copying the elements of array A and B in alternative positions of third array C. And also know that the size of the third variable that is resultant array variable 
is equal to the size of first array and second array okay so know that we are just pointing the k to first element of the array which is 0 and then we increment the array that k value by 2 fetching all the even positions in that array variable c that way we enter the elements individual elements of a of 5 in, starting from 0 to all the even positions in the second for loop we insert the individual elements of b of 5 in all the odd positions of this uh, resultant variable c that's it very simple logic also we had given you an assignment at the beginning of this video to have different sizes for array variable a and b so if you have done that good great if you have tried and didn't get it or you got it please visit the link present in the description section of this youtube video and cross check your program with ours we have written that and published there so please visit the link present in the description section of this youtube video for source code notes and discussion about this topic please stay subscribed to our youtube channel and blog also share this video with your friends on whatsapp telegram linkedin twitter facebook etc and please do not forget to like this video on youtube thank you